Right, so this video I just want to show you a few things in the dashboard. So you can log out of the dashboard. So if you log out and leave your computer, anyone else coming to it would have to log back in. So I'm going to log back in. Uh, if you click this remind me, it may remember your password. It doesn't always work. Right, this sidebar, do you, if you can see these little downward facing arrows on the end of each of these um, words, if you click on that arrow, it opens up the menu underneath. And if you click it again, it closes. So you can open up the ones that are going to be useful to you. So pages is going to be useful to us and possibly media. You can also hide this sidebar or make this sidebar small by pressing these little chevron signs here. So you've got a picture and you can still choose any of the menus you want. And well that it just that just gives you a little bit more room in here when you're editing your pages. And the same thing happens with these bigger boxes, the little arrow on the right. If you click it, you can shrink them down or open them up. And these boxes, you can also change the order of them. So if there's any of these you use, and later on, you might be adding in Google Analytics and you might want to put that drag that up to the top so you get to see it straight away. Um, over here there's some screen options and what you can do you can remove some of these boxes so so if we you can hide quick press recent drafts and now you can see they're gone and it's easy to bring them back if you want to see them. You can also change the number of columns in here. So if you choose one, that again might give us more space later for editing. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, there's a quick there's a shortcut here. I don't think. Oh, there we go. This one probably would be useful. New page and help. That takes you back to the official WordPress site where you can find help. And sometimes it's useful to go there to search for things. But hopefully, most of these videos are going to cover everything else you need. Um, another thing that's useful is up here, if you click here you can visit your site. So if I click here, so that sh it basically takes you to the home page of your site. So if you make a change, you can always click on that view site to see how it's affected your site. So I'm going to click back in the browser. Something else that's useful to do is if you hover your mouse over visit site, and right click if you open link in a new tab what you can do you can be editing your site in this tab and you can view what you've done to your site in this tab so if you make a change here all you need to do is come to this tab and basically refresh the page and if it's helpful to you, you can hover your mouse up here, right click and open in a brand new window. So if your monitor's big enough, you could have to the two windows next to each other. And again, if you make a change in your site, you just need to click refresh to see that change show up on your web page.